Well, you already know how to create a few files here, and we've created the Harry letter and the Ron letter in the previous training videos. We'll create one or two more files, but the main focus here is going to be folders because as we start creating a lot of files, you can see you only have so much space on your desktop and it can only hold so much. You want to be able to start creating folders like I have over here, the exercise folder, and start dragging maybe some of these files into that folder. And then within this folder, you can create other subfolders. We could create a folder called letters and then within that folder um, have international letters or local letters and be able to organize those there as well. So to get started, to show you what I'm talking about, I'm going to, to create a folder, I want to right click anywhere here on the desktop and then go down to new. And then what I want to do is I want to go over and then up to left click on the folder. And the reason why I say over and up, because if I hover over new and I start gradually going up there, it disappears that shortcut menu, right? Unless of course I'm very fast. Watch that see how fast I was but for some of you who may not be as fast on some days you want to it's best just to go over and then up and left click on folder now when I left click on folder it does two things first of all it adds the folder to my desktop and second of all it's in editing mode in other words you see how it's highlighted in the blue here the generic text new folder number two because I already have new folder if I just start typing it'll overwrite that text there unless of course I click off in a blank area and then if I start typing, nothing happens because it's not in edit mode. You see it's not selected or, or highlighted in a deep blue. So if I need to rename that folder because it's not correct, don't worry. When in doubt, you can always right click on it and left click on rename. You see how the text is shaded. Well, I'll click off in a blank area again and I'll show you a shortcut. Let me click off a second time so it's, the folder's not selected. If you click on it once, of course you can right click and rename it and it brings it up. But if you click on it, you can hit F2 on the keyboard and the F2 is the shortcut key to rename the file or folder. So for this folder I want to call it... When I'm done typing again you can click off in a blank area or just hit enter on the keyboard to accept it. And there we go, congratulations we have our first folder. Let's go ahead and create a document that we can put in our holidays folder. Maybe we want a Christmas uh, wish list or the list of people who are on my naughty or nice list. Well, to create that document, Microsoft Word, I know the previous training videos we used WordPad, but Microsoft Word is much better even if you have to pay, uh, well, you do, 100 or 200 bucks to buy the program or pay a little extra when it comes on your new computer if you're purchasing a new computer. So I'm going to come down here and click on the uh, Quick Launch Extras button, which when I click on it gives me the extras here, and I can click on Microsoft Word. If you're not familiar with that, you can also click on the Start button. Let me click on it again. In the Instant Search field, go ahead and type in Word. Then after I'm done typing, it's up here, and I can left-click on that. In fact, what I can do is I can right-click on the shortcut, send it to my desktop to create a shortcut on the desktop, and then click off in a blank area, and there's my shortcut. That's pretty fast, wasn't it? Well, hopefully you watched the previous training videos, but I'm going to double-click on Microsoft Word to open it up and say this is, this is my nice list for Christmas. And then I can go ahead and hit enter and then click on the bullet so I can start numbering my list of who's on my nice list, Bob, engineering, and maybe Susie, in maintenance. And anyways, when I'm finished, I want to go ahead and save my document. So I come up here in the left-hand corner, I click on save, or I can click on the office logo button and come down and click on save. And then it's going to ask me two questions. If you remember when we were creating WordPad documents, it's going to ask, where do you want to save me and what's the name you want to give me? Now by default it wants to save in the documents folder which you know for right now I'd rather save it to my desktop where I can actually see it okay I can do it a couple of ways here I can either come up here see there's the document folder which is a subfolder to training which is a subfolder to users but if I click on the double arrows see there's my desktop if I click on that it updates the viewable window here to show that the icons are on my desktop or because it's crunched here more if I click on more it also takes me to my desktop or if you don't want to click on the additional more, see that little arrow? When you click on it, it, it minimizes the folders. So there's my desktop. I can click on that. And I can also click on that little angle arrow so it brings up my folders, a list of folders in my Windows Explorer view. In any case, I got to my desktop, right? So I just need to give it a name. By default, when you save your documents, it's going to give the first couple of words in your document here. This is my nice list. And the reason why it does that is because it thinks the first couple of words in your document is the main idea and so it assumes to help you that that is what you want as the name of the document but it isn't so I'll go ahead and click in here and it highlights it automatically and all I have to do is once it's all highlighted just start typing and it'll delete it for me and say this is my Christmas list and then when I'm finished I just go ahead and click Save okay so I created a file here and I'm gonna go ahead and close out and where's that at 
It's on my desktop. It's hiding up here in the left-hand corner. So I have, I'm have i going to click and drag this down. You can see it's starting to get cluttered here. So what I want to do is I'm creating files and folders for my holidays. Now it can get even more cluttered if I have like maybe party decorations I need for Halloween. And I want to create another document by double clicking on this and saying these are my Halloween decorations. Anyways, you get the idea, right? I go ahead and save it. Well, let's go to my documents. I'm going to go ahead and click on it, go to my desktop, and you know, Halloween decorations is fine, and click save. And close out. Two holidays so far, Christmas and Halloween. And within the holidays folders, it's going to get confusing there as well. But what I want to do is within the holidays folders, maybe I want to create additional folders to organize those holidays. Maybe have a folder for Christmas, a folder for Halloween, Easter, and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and double click and open up the folder. And then I'm going to create additional folders within this folder here for the holidays. And within the folder, there's a couple ways you can create a new folder. You can just, again, anywhere there's a blank area, right click and then go to new. Oh, popped over here the shortcut menu and then go up and left click on folder, right? I'll go ahead and left click on it and call it Halloween. And then when I'm finished, just hit enter and it solidifies. Same thing, you can always right click to rename it. You can always click on it and hit F2 and it automatically pops open in editing mode. But I'm going to click off in a blank area to solidify it. Another way to create a folder, actually there's, a, there's quite a few ways. You can go up in the menu, click on file and go to new and then click on folder. Now if you don't have your menu listed up at the top, you want to watch the previous training video because it doesn't show up by default. You actually have to click on your Organize button, come down to Layout, and make sure that the menu bar is checked, because if it isn't checked, then it's not listed up here. Click on the Organize, back to Layout, go to Menu Bar, and it's there. Another way you can create folders is actually selecting the folder, right-clicking it, and going down and left-click on Copy, and then click off in a blank area so this folder is no longer selected, and then right-click and Paste. It not only creates a copy of the folder, but actually anything that's within the folder, it actually copies, and, it, and when you paste it, it'll actually say that it's a copy of it. Pretty cool. And then if you didn't want a copy of Halloween, you can always right-click, and then go down to Rename, and then what's the next one we wanted to call was uh, Christmas, and then hit Enter. And then you can see it's sorting because my name is sorting ascendingly, so any time I, that I add something to this folder here, it's going to sort it by name, so C before H. One last thing, and you can see how far deep this is going to go. On my desktop, I have the Holidays folder, right? I'm going to click and drag the heading, or the header of this window. And you can see there's my Holidays folder, and then I'll click and drag the header of the window back. And within the Holidays folder, I have Christmas and Halloween, right? But within my Christmas folder, I'm going to double click on that. Maybe I have a naughty and nice organized uh, folder. So let me go ahead and click File, go to New, and click on Folder, and we'll say this is my nice, and hit Enter and then go ahead and hold down the control key and click and hold down your left mouse button and drag and you see that little plus sign copy to Christmas if I go ahead and let go of my mouse button it actually creates a copy of it within Christmas the nice copy so if I just control click and drag then all I have to do if, if I'm really fast is just hit F2 on the keyboard and it gives me the opportunity to rename this and just type in naughty and then hit enter. Sometimes control click and drag to create a copy and renaming it is quick. I mean unless you want to right click and go down to new and then go up and left click on folder and then type it in. Uh, it's up to you. So you can see now I've got this hierarchical structure that's starting when I close out of here on the desktop of the holidays folder when I double click on that. I have Christmas. What's below Christmas? Well if you click up here in the address bar holidays you click on its drop down arrow after holidays it's saying that below holidays you can see right here Christmas and Halloween. If I click on Christmas, it goes to the Christmas folder, and within my Christmas folder it has Naughty and Nice, which of course you can see down here. I can click on Holidays to go back up the hierarchical structure of the folders I have, or I can double click on Christmas and go down one. You can see I'm in the Christmas folder. And then I have my Naughty and Nice. So let me resize this by clicking and dragging the side um, left side of the window here and let's say that Harry I'm <laughs> gonna click and drag him and put him in the naughty and you can see it's very subtle it's actually outlined like a light shaded gray I don't know if you can see that on the folder there when I let go of it, it's gonna dump it in that folder I'm gonna click and drag Ron and I'm gonna move it over here into the window here until it actually now this one actually pops in as a nice light blue here but in any case whether it's blue or it's a shaded gray just make sure that you hover over the right folder and let go so it dumps it right in there so you can double click on nice there's Ron 
click the back arrow to go back out and you're back to your naughty and nice folders here and then I can click the back arrow again and maybe I have my Christmas list I can click and drag that's neither naughty or nice and I drop it in there so when I double click I've got my document or my file that has a list of all the things maybe I want or it separates within that list the naughty and nice column and then I actually have the list of the things I want to get my naughty people and my nice people see how organized you can get without throwing everything on the desktop here because this is just getting too messy here but instead I can click and drag all these back in there which brings me to the next point which is really cool if you have multiple items you want to drag remember in our previous training video you can go ahead and click on one hold down the control key click on another and keep the control key down and click on another and then you have all three once you have all three highlighted here just click and drag and hold your left mouse button down on one and drag it over and dump it in there I'm gonna put it back out here and let go click off in a blank area or you can marquee it. Marquee means that you actually start in the upper one of the corners here, it doesn't matter, and then you click and you drag and you see how it starts opening up a box here? And that box gets bigger and bigger and it starts selecting everything. Click off in a blank area, maybe start in the upper right hand corner. I'm just clicking right on the desktop here and dragging, holding my left mouse button down and it marquees and it selects as I start opening that up. Um, everything that's within the box is going to be selected when I let go and then I can do the same thing once they're all selected just go ahead and click and hold on one of them with my mouse drag it over let go of the mouse and it dumps them all in there hey let's do that one more time but let's do it with another folder let's have both folders open I suppose I'm going to click and drag move that out of the way double click on the exercise folder and I'm going to resize the exercise folder by grabbing the side of it and clicking and dragging in okay and then what I want to do is I want to take everything in here and actually move it over here or maybe instead of moving it all over there I just want a copy of these things within here so you can click in this folder here hold down the control key and hit the letter A and it selects everything control A or click off in a blank area and say look I like the smiling JPEG the monthly sales meeting and what I'm doing is I'm holding down the control key and clicking on the different folders files that I'd like so you can see I have three here what I can do is I can right click one of the selections and left click on copy and it just copies these three how do I know because when I come over here and I click in this window to activate it then I right click to go ahead and paste it paste over those three as you can see over here and like I say you don't have to copy it. you can act actually just click and drag and move them over But if you want backups or copies that's one way to do it here thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.